reality of lecture 5 lecture 11 on libdabe sequence by dr piranlu department of mathematics and with government dot science and college mahognagar yesterday already we discussed about the sequences range of sequences boundedness of sequences that means limbs of limbs and the influence of okay uh, that is so for the minimum already we have discussed in lecture 10 today i am going to do discuss about the limit of sequence you may call this uh, limit of sequence so, right you may call that uh, <coughs> this limit of sequence so, is kernel of so sequence also hmm? kernel of so sequence also we may define right so what is uh, limit of a sequence what is a limit of a sequence? I am here, I am calling that uh, let uh, S and B a sequence. Right, uh, let I am writing that uh, this S and B a sequence. See how they A function n to r is called to sequence or real sequence. Otherwise, a function from n to s is also called to sequence. This is my sequence, S and L belonging to real number. I am doing that or let L will also R. A real number L is said to be limit of sequence S n if a real number L is said to be limit of sequence S n if for every epsilon greater than 0. What is epsilon? This is very crucial. Epsilon is smallest to positive number. For every epsilon greater than zero, for every epsilon greater than zero, <coughs> there exist to there exist to some m belonging to natural number. I am calling this as z plus it's a positive integer. M belonging to z plus such that. And will answer to such that mod Sn minus L is less than epsilon is less than epsilon for all n greater or equal to m n greater or equal to m so this is definition. Let L belongs to R S N B A sequence. <coughs> L is said to be limit of sequence S N if um, for every epsilon or zero there exists to M belong to plus such that mod S N minus L is less than epsilon for all n greater equal to right. Uh, so this is the definition. So it is uh, denoted by the limit of sequence is denoted by limit of uh, sorry right uh, limit of sn as n tending to infinite equal to m. so notation this so usually i may denote uh, instead of this thing i am right, just i am writing uh, Lim S N equal to L. See here, Lim S N nothing but uh, here if I write n ten infinity or not, we can consider that. If I write or not, we can consider that here n ten infinity is there. Right? Uh, so for this is L. Therefore, Lim S N tending to Limit n equal to L if I now leave this for all epsilon and zero, there exist a ambulance of place such that mod S n minus L is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to M. Yeah. Right. So <coughs> limit n less than equal to L, nothing but okay, uh it, it will be written as a limit of uh, limit of 
pseudo-tofu Sn equal to L L if and only if you may write all these things so this thing here and this term so here <coughs> let me say equal to if and only if <coughs> For all epsilon has zero, there is J hundred into Z mod epsilon has zero into epsilon, right? So what happened geometrically? What happened? The uh, theory. What is theory behind it? That means uh, here I am taking that uh, SMBA sequence. SMBA sequence. That means so uh, it has some terms. The terms of sequence are. S one, S two, S three, that is S n. It is going like this. These are terms of sequence. L may be some any real number. L may be some any real number. So L is any real number. So I am taking that some epsilon is from smallest to quantity. Epsilon is smallest to quantity. So this epsilon maybe you can take that uh, any some value zero point something one zero one zero zero one zero zero two zero one zero zero point one. You may take anything. This smallest to value smallest to real number is positive. I am taking this. Is. So if I observe this. After if I take epsilon equal like this, uh, after some stage, okay, after m belong into z plus, okay, uh, after some stage, uh, what happen? The difference between s n minus l is less than epsilon. So here there exists some stage, right? M belong into z plus. Such that mod s n is less than zero. Less than, sorry, less than epsilon. Less than epsilon for all n greater equal to. So for all n greater equal to. Yeah. So after this stage, if it's less than epsilon, we say that S n is converged to L. Right? I will show my example also. Okay. Suppose uh, <coughs> here I'm taking that uh, S n equal to a sequence. Uh, Uh, here where uh, where I am writing here where S n equal to I am taking one by n so L is equal to zero. <coughs> I want show that. <coughs> The sequence is said is converged to L. Okay, or you can say that uh, L is limit of sequence S n equal to one by L. For showing L is limit of the sequence, so I want to show that uh, epsilon equal to some value. The value is depend on epsilon. Okay, epsilon equal to you may take that zero point zero one. I'm taking that epsilon equal to zero zero one. So I'm considering that means uh, here. For uh, uh, what I show here, I want to show that uh, L is L equal to zero is the limit of S n. For that, I want to find O M. What is the definition for every epsilon greater than zero? There exists O 
పదివి ఎత్తలం గ్రంజలో దే ఎగ్జిస్ టు ఎం బి లాంగ్ ఇన్ టు జెడ్ ప్లేస్ దాట్ మోడ్ ఎస్ ఎన్ నైన్ ఎస్ ఎల్ ఈస్ లెస్ దిన్ ఎస్ లాంగ్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్టర్ టైమ్ సో దట్ మీన్స్ హియర్ దే ఎగ్జిస్ టర్మ్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ దట్స్ వై ఐఎమ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు ఫైండ్ ఎమ్ ఇయర్ ఐఎమ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు ఫైండ్ ఎమ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఇయర్ ఎస్ ఎన్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ బై ఎన్ కామా ఎల్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో ఎఫ్సెవెన్ ఈక్వల్ టు అంటే దిస్ ఈస్ ఐ మీన్ వాట్ ఐఎమ్ కన్సిడరింగ్ హియర్ ఐఎమ్ కన్సిడరింగ్ మోడ్ ఎస్ ఎన్ మైనస్ ఎల్ దిస్ టర్మ్ ఐఎమ్ కన్సిడరింగ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఎస్ ఎన్ ఎస్ ఎన్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ వన్ బై ఎన్ ఎల్ నథింగ్ బట్ జీరో so i will consider this so uh, which is less than epsilon okay which is less than epsilon mod 1 by n since n belongs to n that means the function my sequence is defined from n to r right my sequence is defined from n to r so that's why any rational number that means for first number if i put mod uh, non mod both are same for that we that we but mod of natural numbers will be will get mod will be easily removed so my consideration is mod s n s l is less than epsilon this is i want to consider okay i want to find by using the relation i want to find m in terms of epsilon my epsilon is 0.05 i am taking right so uh, if i forward about this epsilon right uh, if you remove what epsilon i am not considering this any epsilon right if i am not taking any epsilon i am just i want to take epsilon is positive later we will be discuss what happened okay so i am taking here epsilon is positive so which implies uh, what happened here which implies 1 by n e is less than epsilon 1 by n is less than epsilon which implies what can we write if i uh, write this uh, n goes to this epsilon goes to this it implies that uh, we can reciprocal it otherwise okay. n is greater than 1 by epsilon otherwise you can take that what you are writing n goes to this side 1 by epsilon 1 by epsilon is less than i am because is writing this so n is greater than 1 by epsilon so this is my m this is my m but uh, our m is integer our m is integer for the reason i am taking that uh, this is uh, m but uh, where m equal to integral box of 1 by epsilon that means uh, integral part of a real number integral part of a real number so this is so uh, integral part of a real number is uh, integers only that belong to z plus so this is that means therefore what we have here therefore for every epsilon is greater than 0 so there exist to there exist to m is equal to integral part of right integral part of uh, okay integral part of 1 by epsilon integral part of 1 by epsilon such that mod 1 by n minus 0 is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to or you can write greater than n no, not only right here greater than will be right you can write here greater than more you can write here so that means so uh, n is greater than n right so which implies our definition is that uh, for every epsilon by 0 there exist m belong to z place such that mod s n minus l is less than epsilon for all n equal to m which implies what we write here limit of uh, 
वन बाय एन इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मींस एल इक्वल टू जीरो इज लिमिट ऑफ वन बाय एन वी मे से दैट वन बाय एन इज कंजेस्ट टू जीरो इफ यू पुट एन इक्वल टू इनफाइनेट नथिंग इज हैपन If we put, if not put, no problem. But you have to assume that here n is to infinity is there. That means zero is put a flat. So if I take uh, here my epsilon is m is zero integral part of one by epsilon, right? Suppose uh, I want find some number natural number, right? For the reason case one, I am taking that. Okay, uh, so one, I am taking. Suppose you can take that any epsilon, right? Epsilon equal to some zero point one. I am taking the smallest value. Epsilon is the smallest value which is greater than zero. Epsilon equal to zero point one. Epsilon equal to zero point one. Nothing but what is m here? M is equal to box of one by epsilon. So one by epsilon is nothing but uh, one by zero point one. Point one is nothing but uh, one by ten. That goes to ten. Ten by one. Ten by one equal to one. So box of ten equal to what? We know that ten uh, only. Box of ten equal to ten only, right? So therefore. The integral for t is what happened? Z only here. M is equal to 10. M belongs in Z place. Here nothing but oh, after m and after 10 greater than m, the difference between 1 by n, 1 by n nothing but 11 minus 0 is. Uh, you can take that right. Uh, is. Uh, Less than zero point one. You can observe clearly. One by eleven. Nothing but we can take that point to some uh, okay. Zero point to nine point zero nine. Like this will get one by eleven equal to point zero nine. Okay, or point zero eight like this. That means this is less than zero point one. Okay, if epsilon equal to second one, I'm taking that. If epsilon equal to some uh, epsilon equal to point zero one. Here, what happen? M is equal to one by epsilon. One by epsilon is now to zero point zero one. One by three, but zero point two zero one. Epsilon equal to one by zero point zero one. Nothing but what is this? Uh, this nothing but uh, one by zero point over hundred, right? That equal to hundred. Here one by hundred, that equal to hundred. Okay. Uh, So box hundred, box hundred equal to what happen? Box hundred only, right? So maybe if I take epsilon equal to zero point zero one, that means after hundred stage, after hundred stage, the difference between one by one at one and one by other than one by n minus zero is less than zero point zero one. So that means my m is depends on zero point to zero one. My m is depends on Zero point zero one. If you take that, uh, m is equal to you may take that uh, some what value you can take zero point zero one zero zero one m is equal to thousand. If you take m is zero zero one, then you will take ten thousand. Like this, uh, m is depends on the value, right? So I want to explain why is the practical part you are getting only natural number, right? If I take the other way also, right? If I my epsilon is uh, epsilon equal to y integral part. We are getting integral part, right? Why epsilon? Epsilon if epsilon equal to zero point zero, you can fix zero five. Zero point zero five, which nothing but uh, then what happen here? One by epsilon, one by epsilon, but m is equal to uh, integral part of one by epsilon, right? So m is equal to 
इंटेग्रल फोर्ट ऑफ वन बाय एप्सिलॉन दैट इक्वल टू आर एपेन वन बाय जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव दैट इक्वल टू आर एपेन ये फाइव बाय थाउजेंड दैट इक्वल टू थाउजेंड बाय thousand by five okay thousand by thousand by five equal to how much here we will get here if i divide this so uh, uh, thousand uh, thousand by five that equal to what happened here um two hundred okay uh, box two hundred box two hundred equal to two hundred nothing will happen right if i take year one Zero point zero five one. If we what we do here here zero point so zero point two. Here we get other thing is zero. Ten thousand by five one. Ten thousand by five nothing but what we will get here two hundred or one ninety nine point something we will get one nine 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 point we will get something. Will get. So one nine nine point something we will get that means so this is so uh, if. Not integer. If I put box, then only it is become integers. If you take epsilon is different value. If I take zero point one two three four, zero point zero one two three four, zero point one like that. Like this will be we get fractional part. Fractional part does not belong to integers. That's why we are taking here only integral parts. Why? Because if we take integral part only, then we will get uh, integers. So, so that means my epsilon is depends on M, sorry, uh, M is depends on epsilon. So this thing is understood. We have to understand. Again, I am saying let us take a sequence. Let us take a sequence. So L is any real number. L is said to be lambda sequence is n. L is said to be lambda sequence is n. If for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists any longer place such that Mod S N minus L is less than S N for all n greater than zero, so which implies it is denoted by lambda of S N equal to L. It is denoted by lambda of S N equal to L, or you may denote lambda of S N equal to L. Therefore, lambda of S N equal to L which implies both are same. So that's the you have to understand. So now I am going to revision also this. So Yeah, limit of sequence all comes of sequence. What of say? Let us then be sequence, and it belongs to our L is said to be limit of sequence. Is saying if uh, for all epsilon is greater than zero, there exists for all there exists uh, a belong to the space such that mod S N minus L is less than epsilon for every n greater than equal to m. Or a sequence S N is said to be Convergence of C, convergence to L. Other thing we have to say that oh, already we have explained. Now I am reasoning only. Let us say this is uh, a sequence S N is said to be convergence to L or convergence uh, convergence sequence to L or convergence to L. Ye fo for over epsilon greater than zero there exists a epsilon zero space such that more S N minus L is less than epsilon for every n greater than equal to m where it belongs to R. So this is the definition of Convergence of sequence over limit of a convergence. So usually it is denoted by limit n equal to L or limit n equal to. Okay, and then we will not write here. So this limit n equal to L. This thing I already explained. So you have to remember and he will do. But because every theorem, every problem in this topic, so we are we have to use this definition only. If you uh, if you remember the definition, the proofs of theorem is very easy. The problems of problems are also very easy. That's why we have to remember these steps. Okay, next. Okay, limit any quality finally for already. I just now explained limit any quality finally for a bridge so under zero there exists to there exists to be on that place. Such that mod S N minus L is less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to m. So 
Yeah, I think uh, uh, right. Uh, uh, this thing I will explain later. Leave me sign equal If I only leave me sign this sign equal to both are same. Sign equal to if I only leave me sign this one also. Show that lim y lim n tend to infinity one by n equal to zero by using definition. Just now already shown. Again, I am explain you examination point. Examination point with this question so like it's coming. Show that uh, show that lim s n equal to zero by using definition. Here lim one by n equal to zero, right? Lim one by n equal to zero. Lim of n tend to infinity. One by zero. Here S is nothing but L. Here limit is it is a form limit is equal to L. S is nothing but one by L is equal to zero. Let uh, epsilon is greater than zero. Epsilon is greater than zero. Considering one mod S minus L is equal to that equal one by n zero one by zero. This is natural number. If you put mod or mod less, if nothing will happen. Therefore, I am writing a one by n is greater than right. Which implies what happens? N is greater than one by epsilon. M is M by M is here integral part of one by epsilon. M is equal to one by epsilon. Right? For every epsilon greater than zero, there exists to an M is major point of one by epsilon. Is that one by N is minus zero is less than epsilon for all to M. Which implies which means nothing but to M is equal to lima one by N equal to zero. So now it is I am explaining here epsilon by integral part here. For that reason, I am explaining here now again. Here epsilon equal to how much here? Zero point zero two two epsilon equal to zero point zero two two epsilon equal to zero point zero two two. If I take like this, so m is equal to what happen here? One by epsilon, one by epsilon. So here, one by zero point zero two two. Nothing but thousand by twenty two. That equal to if I divide thousand by twenty two, that will get forty five point forty five part four five four five in this way. But forty five point forty five forty five does not belong into integers. That's why if I put integral part of real number, the box of this thing will what happen? Part if I integral part of real number equal to part if I only. That's why I am putting here on the other side. If we take that epsilon equal to zero point zero 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 five, note that epsilon equal to this. So one by epsilon, one by zero point zero five equal to thousand ten thousand or sorry. So. Uh, One crore by five that equal to twenty lakhs. One crore by five equal to twenty lakhs. M is equal to. If I take epsilon equal to very very small, the difference between one by epsilon, one by n minus l is less than this epsilon. When m is equal to, if I after two thousand two hundred ninety lakh stage, my epsilon is very very small. If epsilon is zero point zero one, m is equal to hundred. That means so uh, the value of m is depends on this epsilon. Next, I want to show that lima of one by n square equal to zero. Lima of one by n square equal to zero. Same uses same definition. So it is in the form how is the form? It is in the form right one by n square equal to zero. S n equal to One by n square l equal to zero. Epsilon is greater than zero. I am considering mod s n minus l, which is less than epsilon. Later I will take that thing. But here s n equal to one by n square l equal to zero. Mod one by n square, which is less than epsilon. Therefore, one by n square is less than epsilon, which implies n comes n square comes this way. One by epsilon comes this way. Later I am writing here n square greater than one by epsilon. So n equal to what? If n is greater than one by root epsilon, so m is equal to I am taking here integral part of one by root epsilon, or m is equal to box of one by root epsilon. For all epsilon greater than zero, there exists to m is equal to integral part of integral part of not integral part integral part of one by root epsilon such that 
mod 1 by n square minus 0 is less than epsilon for all n greater than n square greater than n. Therefore, lim of 1 by n square equal to 0. Note, lim is n equal to n if and only if l is limit of a sequence Sn. Lim s n equal to n if and only if l is limit of a sequence Sn, which implies uh, Sn converges to L. Which implies Sn is converges to L. Or you can say that uh, it's nothing but for all epsilon greater than 0, there exists angular jet such that mod Sn minus L is less than 0. This thing you have to remember. Show that other problem I should use, right? Show that limit of n tending to infinity 3n plus 1 by 7n minus 4 is equal to 3 by 7 by using definition of limit. Here, my lim of this thing is in the form of lim s n equal to l. What is Sn here? Sn is equal to 3n plus 1 by 7n minus 4. L equal to what is this 3 by 7? Let I'm calculating that epsilon is smallest quantity. I am considering here mod S n minus L equal to 3 n plus 1 by 7 n minus 4 minus 3 by 7. Here what I am doing here, I am doing cross multiply. So LCM take LCM. If I do LCM, this is what happens 7 times of this and 3 times of this by 7 by this right. 7 times multiply 7, what happened? 21n plus 49. 7 to 1 goes 7. Here, 3 into 7 equal 21n minus into minus plus 2 by 1. 21n and 21n gets cancelled out. What is this remaining term? 49n minus 28. Uh, so 19 7 plus 12 equal to 19 by 49 n minus 28 is less than epsilon here 19 by 49 n minus 28 is less than epsilon why because 49 n minus 28 is positive greater than uh, 0 only this is positive 19 positive 19 by positive number is positive only for positive number if i put mod or more or less both are same that's why i am removing mod So this term is uh, less than epsilon. What I am doing here, I am uh, reciprocaling this thing. 49 n by n is 28 by 19. So if I am reciprocaling, then what happens? That means numerator number changes, then what happens? The sign also changes, see. Otherwise, what you do is you can get 49, this comes this side, epsilon comes this side. After that, 19 goes this side, 1 by epsilon. 1 by epsilon is less than this thing, but I am, what, next time I am rewriting this, then we will get 49 n minus 28 by 19 which is greater than 1 by epsilon. 49 minus 28 is greater than 19 by epsilon. That means 49 and greater than 19. So what I am doing here, 28 comes this side. So 19 epsilon plus 28 by 49. That means n is greater than 1 by 49. 19 minus epsilon plus 28. So n is greater than 19 plus 49 epsilon plus 28 by 49. That is equal to yeah, this integral part of this. Integral part of this is equal to, I am taking m is equal to integral part of this. For epsilon greater than 0, there exists m is integral part of this thing such that mod of 3n plus 1 minus 1 by 7 n minus 4 minus 3 by 7 is less than epsilon for all n minus 1 to n. Which implies lim of n tending to infinity 3n plus 1 by 7 n minus 4 is equal to 3 by 7. Okay. Similarly, we have to show that lim of n to infinity 2 n plus 3 by 4 n minus 1 equal to 1 by 2 by using definition. It is the form s n equal to this, so 2 n plus 3 by 4 n minus 1 l is equal to 1 by 2. Let I am considering l epsilon greater than 0, consider s n minus uh, l is less than epsilon. This is n, l is equal to this n. If I, okay, if I do LCM or cross multiply these things, then what happens, we will get to uh, and cross multiply cancelling, you will get 7 by right n minus 2. That means right n minus 2 is always positive for any natural number. So, this is for first number, for put more or more less, both are same. I am right here, 7 by 8 n minus 2 is less than epsilon. From this, I simplify. I will get here 8 n 
greater than 7 by epsilon by 7 by epsilon plus 2 that means n is greater than 1 by epsilon 1 by 8 or is 7 by epsilon plus 2 right this is my m if i take integral part this is my m so therefore m is integral part of 7 by 8 epsilon plus 1 by 4 for all epsilon greater than 0 there exists to m is equal to integral part of 7 by 8 epsilon by 1 by epsilon 1 by 4 such is that mod 2m plus 3 by 4n minus 1 minus 1 by 2 is less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to m. Therefore, we shown that limb of n identity 2m plus 3 by 4n minus 1 is equal to 1 by 2. Note. Right. If uh, epsilon equal to 0 zero, then m is equal to what I pen 9. Epsilon is 0 0.01, then m is equal to what happened? 87. Epsilon equal to 0 0.001, then m is equal to what happened here? 875. Can keep on observing this. If epsilon equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, I am applying 7 by 8 epsilon, that equal to 70 by 8, that equal to 875, that equal to what much here? 8.75, 0.25, that equal to 9. If I take epsilon is 0 0.7 by 8 epsilon, that equal to 8.75, that means so 7 by 8. Box of epsilon phi equal to 87. Epsilon is 0 0.1 equal to 7 by 8 epsilon that equal to 7000 by 8 epsilon that equal to 875 plus uh, 0 0.25. 87525 that equal to 875. Epsilon is 0 0.1, you will get that. Uh, 875. So that means so, the difference between SN minus L is less than epsilon for different stage of m, right? If epsilon is, we take smaller cell, m will be larger. If epsilon is small, little smaller, we will get m is small, little smaller, one little. So, that means, so, if it is, epsilon is very, very small, m will be approaches to large value, so it. Show that n plus 1 by n is convergence. Show that the sequence n plus 1 by n is convergence sequence given sequence n plus 1 by n s n equal to n plus 1 by n l is equal to 1 let epsilon is 0 consider mod s n minus uh, l what is s n here mod s n minus l what is s n here s n equal to n plus 1 by n minus 1 can what do here n plus if I cross multiply them what n plus one by n or equal to one by n one by n cell is epsilon so S n minus L is equal to one by n that is less than epsilon n is greater than one by epsilon if I take m is equal to integral part of one by epsilon for every epsilon greater than zero there exists to m is equal to integral part of one by epsilon such that mod of n plus one by n minus one is less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to m which implies what I write here lim of n plus one by n is equal to one therefore n plus 1 by n is converges to 1. Show that the sequence minus 1 over 4 n by n is converges to 0. Given sequence that minus 1 over 4 of n, I want to show that this is converges to 0. What is Sn? Sn is equal to minus 1 over 4 of n, L equal to 0. Sn equal to minus 1 over 4 of n by n, L equal to 0. Minus 1 over 4 n by n, n if I put model of for this, this is mod minus 1, model of minus 1 over 4 equal to 1, we will get 1 by n. So, this is less than epsilon. Mod Sn minus L is equal to 1 by n is less than epsilon. Already we know this, I have discussed this is 1 by n is less than epsilon, n is greater than 1 by epsilon. Therefore, n is equal to what we have taken here, integral part of 1 by epsilon. For every epsilon is 0, there exists m equal to integral part of 1 by epsilon belonging to z plus such that mod of minus 1 over 4 n by n minus 0 is less than epsilon for every n greater than equal to m. Therefore, lim of minus 1 over 4 of n by n equal to 0. So, minus 1 over 4 n by n is converged to 0. Okay, we have shown that. Show that n by n plus 1 is convergence. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Converge to some uh, converge I, mean, I want to show that uh, uh, given sequence n by n plus 1. My observation that uh, this sequence uh, can observe the terms of sequence first of all. Okay. 
the terms of sequence how get put n equal to 1 2 like this keep on observing that uh, first term is get 1 by 2 second term will get 2 by 3 third term will get 3 by 4 4 by 5 5 by 6 6 by 7 like the it will be it goes to infinite value then what happen suppose 1 crore by 1 crore one more that equal to will get what 0 0.9999999 like this will get so it approaches to values the maximum value is goes to 1 that's why I am observing the sequence terms I am taking that that means the value of the sequence are going to 1 that means converges to 1 that's why here I am taking a let us say n equal to n by n plus 1 comma l is equal to 1 lim of n equal to infinite s n equal to n by n plus 1 so uh, lim of 1 by 1 plus 1 by n equal to what happened here so here what I, what what I do here uh, that equal to lima of s n that equal to a lima of this thing if you take this uh, if I divide by this both terms then we will get one so oh uh, this idea you can also take instead of taking l is equal to one what I am doing here I am taking lim s n equal to this s n multiplied n by n plus one if I take common or this is equal is missing here then if I divide by numerator and here n then what happens one by one plus one by n if I apply limit here 1 by 1 plus 0 that equal to 1. So, this is the idea. L is equal to 1. So, now I am considering mode SN minus L is equal to N by N plus 1 minus 1. If I cross multiply what happens? N minus N plus 1, N plus 1 that equal to 1 by N plus 1. 1 by N plus 1 is less than epsilon. So, N plus 1 is greater than 1 by epsilon. N is greater than 1 by epsilon minus 1. M is equal to integral part of 1 by epsilon minus 1. For every epsilon 0, there exist integral part of 1 by epsilon minus 1 belonging to z place such that mod of n plus n by n plus 1 minus is 1 is less than epsilon for every n greater than equal to m therefore we show that lim of n by n plus 1 is equal to 1 this sequence is converges to 1 prove that 4n cube plus 3n n cube minus 6 equal to solution is limit of n to this this is in the form of lim of s n equal to l s n nothing but 4 n cube plus 3 n by n cube minus 6 comma l equal to 4 s n nothing but 4 n cube plus 3 n by n cube minus 6 l nothing but minus 4 that equal to 4 n cube plus 3 n minus 4 n cube minus 6 right 4 n cube plus 3n minus 4n cube minus 6 so n cube minus 6 n cube minus 6 uh, so if I multiply cross multiply this here 4n cube minus 3n 4 times of n cube minus 6 by n cube minus 6 4n cube 4 cube cancel out 3n plus 24 by n cube minus 6 is less than epsilon here sn minus l is equal to 3n plus 24 by n cube minus 6 I am putting star so I am putting this is star. Now it is difficult to find n, unable to. If I take epsilon also, we are unable to find epsilon. For the reason, I am considering 3n plus 24. That is what I am writing here. 3n plus 24. I because this is number, which is less than equal to 27n. You can observe anything. If I n equal to 1, what happened? If I put n equal to 1, 24, 27. n equal to, it will be uh, some 6 plus 24 equal to 30. Okay. So, by idea, I am taking this, I am adding this 24 plus 3, 7, 24. That's why I am observing, I am taking this is 27 by n. 3n plus 24 is less than 27 by n. I am taking this. So, and uh, n cube minus 6 is greater than 2n square for n greater than equal to. You can take any value here n cube minus 6 is greater than 2 n cube for n greater than equal to 2. That means so 1 by n cube minus 6 is less than 1 by 2 n square for n greater than 2. 1 by this is greater than 2 n square and this more 1 by this is less than equal to 1 by 2 n square for n greater than 3. You can observe that this is greater than 2 n square for n greater than 2. 1 by n cube 6 is less if I uh, do what uh, what can do here this come this side this come this side which is 1 by n 2 n square greater than 1 by 7. Rewrite this we will get here. 1 by n cube minus 6 is less than 1 by 2 n square 4 and greater than 2. Let 1 and 2, from 1 and 2 what happen? 
3 n square 3 n plus 24 by n cube minus 6 is 3 n plus 24 is equal to what happened? 27 n. This is less than 27. Already we proved 1 for 1. n cube minus 6 is less than 1 by 1 by n cube minus 6 is less than 1 by 2 n square. 27 n by 2 n square is equal to how much here? 27 by 2 n. 27 by 2 n. Why? Because n n gets cancelled out. From star, I am taking that is equal to this. This is less than 27 by 2 n, which is less than epsilon. Which is less than epsilon. Later, 27 n by 2 n is less than epsilon. 20, sorry. Uh, 20, uh, because here, I am reciprocating this 2 n by 27 is less than epsilon. And it is equal to what happened here? 27 by 2 epsilon. 27 by 2 epsilon is equal to m. M is equal to the minimum of uh, C. Here already just note that for the condition is uh, over for 2 minimum of that means uh, one already we take the n cube minus 6 is greater than 1 2 n cube is greater than 2 n cube modulus of for n greater than 2. That's why already I took that 1 n. That's why I am taking that m is equal to minimum of 2 comma 27 by 2 epsilon. So if I am taking this is epsilon. Okay. So that means so. Uh, for every epsilon zero, there exists m belongs to m is equal to minimum of two comma twenty seven by two epsilon belongs to this place, such that four n cube plus three n by n cube minus six minus four is less than four for all n greater than equal to m. So here, I think what uh, this is equal to four. This thing is equal to four. Okay. Later we will be observe how uh, we will be solve easily this kind of problems. Okay, you can do the homework. Uh, so show that lemma one by two n equal to zero, two n square plus n by n cube minus three equal to two. Uh, limit of one by five n equal to zero. Lemma one by n square n square plus n equal to zero and lemma one by two n equal to zero. Uh, if so okay. Yes, this is uh, quickly I am explaining. Lemma one by n uh, n ten by one by two n equal to zero. S n equal to one by two n. Ah, two n. I think I think this is two four n. Two four n. Two four n. Two four n. So, 1 by 2 power n is equal to 1, 1 by this is positive number 4, that's why I am writing 2 power n is less than epsilon. 2 power n is greater than 1 by epsilon. Uh, m is equal to how to take that? Uh, both sides apply log here. If I apply both sides log, then what happens here? Okay, you can apply here log this mistake, right? You can apply log both sides here. Uh, n is greater than 2 log uh, n log 2 is greater than 1 by log x like this. Uh, you can take uh, this comes this side, this comes this side. So n is greater will be get to some, uh, some value. Otherwise, you can take that uh, uh, one thing you can do here what you do here 1 by 2 power n, 1 by 2 power n is greater than 1 by n for all n value. You can take any value 1 by 2 power n is greater than 1 by n. That 1 by n is greater than epsilon. 1 by n is less than epsilon. So that means so, so 1 by n is less than epsilon. Same epsilon work for this also. Okay, you can do that also. Therefore, what I am writing here for every epsilon is there is epsilon so integral part of 1 by epsilon plus that such the replace such that mod 1 by 2 n minus 0 is less than s. 1 by 2 power n converges to 0. Same you can take 5 power n also. Same work you can take that uh, here. Uh, which is greater than epsilon because 1 by n is greater than epsilon. So, using that for here, you can prove this also. Okay. Okay. So, this is the convergence of the sequence topic and some problems. Okay. Already, uh, just to today, I am discussing about the convergence of the sequence of the problems only. Convergence of sequence and its the problem. So, limit of sequence. Just now, how? Discuss uh, today topics. Okay, you can uh, solve other many problems. Same uh, by taking uh, your own. Okay, so thank you, uh, thank you for watching this. So, uh, right. Uh, so thank, right.